Hey team, and welcome to today's video on the TextSplit function in Excel. TextSplit is an evolution of the text-to-columns feature in Excel. It allows you more flexibility when trying to split up data within columns. In a situation where you have strings with multiple delimiters, such as commas, semicolons, slashes, or even a prefix, TextSplit can get the job done. We're going to take a look at five different examples to show you how this powerful formula works. Keep in mind this function is available currently in Excel 365 or Excel Online. If you have an earlier version of Excel, check out my video on the text to columns feature from the description. Let's jump in. In our first example, we have strings of text split up by commas. We have first and last name and the employee position. And we're going to use the text split function to break these up into separate columns. We'll begin by entering the text split function. In this function, there are only two required arguments. And we'll primarily be focusing on the text we are looking to split up and the column delimiter. However, we'll also look at the row delimiter and whether or not we want to ignore empty cells in just a bit. To enter the text portion, I can simply click on the first string, enter a comma, and then for the column delimiter, I'm going to enter a comma plus a space in quotations. I'll close parentheses and click enter. Now when I drag this formula down, each of my text strings have been split up into their respective columns. In our next example, we have the same data and we want to break it up the same way. However, you'll notice now within the text strings, I don't only have just commas, I have semicolons and a slash as well. One of the amazing features of the text split function is that it allows us to enter multiple delimiters at one time. To begin, I'll enter text split again. The text that we want to split up again will be the first string. And for the column delimiter, we're going to be entering an array. So open up the curly brackets. Then in quotations, I'll put a comma with the space, another comma for the next delimiter. I'll open up quotations again, and this time put a semicolon with a space, another comma. We'll open up one final quotations, and this time put the slash with a space. Close the array with the curly brackets, close parentheses, and click enter. And again, when I drag this formula down, Excel with the text split function has broken up each of these strings following the delimiter outline that I set up. In this next example, we're going to use the text split function to delimit and remove the prefixes from two of the employee names. We have Dr. Jamie Smith and Miss Kelly Richards, and I just want first and last name. We'll start the same as before by entering the text split function. Enter the text we want to split up. For the column delimiter, again, we're going to be entering an array, so open up the curly brackets. In quotations, I'll enter a comma with a space. And then we'll also enter the delimiter for both the miss with a space and the doctor with a space. Close curly brackets and enter a comma. Excel is asking if we want to add a row delimiter, and we'll come to that in just a bit. But to bypass it for now, just enter another comma. And now Excel is asking you if you want to ignore or include empty cells. And we'll enter true to ignore empty cells. That way, as I carry the formula down, the data will align correctly with the column headers. I'll close parentheses and click enter. Now I'll drag this down and you see our data has been aligned correctly. Just to show you what would happen if I didn't include that true, I'll take that out from the end of the function. When I click enter, the first one is okay because there's no prefix, but if I were to drag this down, you'll see the data doesn't align correctly. That's why we want to ignore those empty cells. Now let's look at a scenario where some data is missing for some of the employees. For Steve, I don't have a last name. And for Jamie, I don't have a position within the firm. We can use text split still to account for this. We'll enter the text split function again. The text will be the same as before. For our column delimiter, again, it'll be an array. I'll enter a comma with a space in quotations. We'll delimit the semicolon. And then finally delimit the slash with a space. Close the array. I'll enter two commas again to get back to the choice whether or not I can include or ignore empty cells. But this time I'm gonna select false to include those empty cells because I want everything to stay aligned. So now when I close parentheses and click enter, drag this formula down, you'll see the data is aligned correctly to the column headers. Excel ignored instances where there was no data to return and moved on to the next step. 
In our final example, let's take a look at how the text split function can also delimit by row. Let's enter that text split function. We'll enter the text string. The column delimiter in this case is going to be the equal symbol between the word name and the employee name, so Steve, Jamie, or Kelly. So in quotations, I'll enter the equal sign. That's the only column delimiter we have, so I'll enter a comma to go onto the row delimiter. For the row delimiter, we'll enter a comma with a space. Close parentheses and click enter. And you'll see Excel split up the string into three separate rows, one column with the word name, and then column two, including that employee name. Team, as you can see, the text split function is extremely powerful and gives you a ton of flexibility when managing your data. I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell for future videos.